Hi everyone, it's my day off and I've just had Cubot around for the second time. The first time I had them around was uh, ooh, just after the kind of uh, COVID crisis we moved in, uh, probably 2021. And uh, we had had a leak in the kitchen and so we had uh, the floorboards exposed. But I got them around to take them up and see how much floor void space we had. Now, um, it was a little bit small at the time and they wanted 250 mils. So they could definitely get the robot underneath the floorboard and once they're covered all the underside of the floorboards and joists with insulation. They want enough room for ventilation so they don't cause damp and dry rot. Which, uh, you know, brilliant, good. Um, so we had a round again and the access port that we were hoping to use under the stairs has pipes underneath. So that will be blocking the robot and making it too difficult to get about. But, one access port in the rear of the property and I'll show you an old floor pan from uh, an old uh, right move image um, shows that you get all the dining room, you get all the kitchen and it will probably sort us out completely and be able to do it. The other issue is at the rear of the property we've got no air brick because our rear access to the yard with some French windows has knocked the air bricks out or the previous owners have raised the floor at the back um, to put in the um, put in the astroturf, uh, and so and leveled it off a bit higher. And they may have just covered an air brick, um, and so that's stopping cross ventilation. And so we don't have any damp yet, but the moisture content of the wood is about twenty three percent, and they won't do it if it's above twenty because the foam dries out the wood and uh, becomes moist itself and then fungus can grow on it. So we don't want any of that. Um, and so they won't do it if the moisture is above 20% at all, because they don't want to um, ruin anyone's house or cause them any dry rot or get sued. Because I think in anyone's mind, in any company's mind, uh, being paid to do a service then getting sued and losing loads of money for extra repairs is bad. And it's kind of reassuring that they're only gonna install it where it's responsible to install it. So I'm not too disheartened by that, but it gives me some extra jobs to think about and things to arrange before I can get uh, my floor insulated. The next thing I need to think about is the front room. So the front room um, has got a chimney in and he thinks that we're likely to have two stud walls underneath the floor in the floor void. And they can knock that out to make access to the robot in the middle you don't need it for the full length of the floor. 